Congress. I'm always a recipient myself. Uh, I've been coming here for uh, three years now, and this event, this event is truly amazing to see so many people come here. Uh, it's incredible. All the money you guys have raised and all the wishes to help man is incredible. I can't thank Dave enough. I can't thank his staff enough. It is incredible to see how many people truly care to come to do this and raise so much money. It's a blast to watch, see how crazy you guys are. So, um, uh, so I'd just like to uh, introduce you to my friend Louis, Julia, and Hannah. And uh, they will be sharing a little bit of their story uh, and what their wish was like. Here's Louis. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Louis Fellows. I am 12 years old. I am in sixth grade and I live in East Kingston, New Hampshire. When I made my wish, I was 10 years old and I wished to make a video game. And I wished to make a video game. I didn't know where I was going because I just said I wanted to make a video game. So, but, so I went to Orlando, Florida and they made a video game at a college that teaches video game engineering and other stuff. And I also went to SeaWorld and Orlando Studios, I mean Universal Studios. Um, so they recorded my voice at the college to like, so it's not like my voice, like, I mean, when I played the video game, and they did my mom and dad's voice too, but like, in, in secret, I didn't, I didn't know that, so their voice was also in it when I played the video game. Um, I also, I also put on this suit with a bunch of white balls on it, and like, so like, you did certain movements, so it would record the movements for like be in the video game when I played it. I mean, so they'd be in the video game. Um, my favorite thing to do while well, being while well, in Orlando was going to SeaWorld and having lunch in a shark in a shark tank. And thank you, thank you for everyone who has donated to make a wish, to make it possible for kids like me to do amazing things. Thank you all. Being the sibling of a child. 
child who has a chronic illness can be extremely difficult. Listening to her cry at night because she doesn't want to do her treatments, having her go to the doctors to get her blood drawn every year, doctor's appointments every three months, and hospital stays when her lung functions down, it's really, really tough to watch. But that's not it. Another part that's really hard is all of our spotlights are always shining on Hannah to make sure she's healthy enough. And there are times where I'm left in the dark. There was even a point in time where I was being introduced to people as Hannah's sister. I didn't even have a name. I remember coming home one day in sixth grade, and my mom, once I got in the car, my mom said, Hannah's going to have a make a wish. The first thing I thought was great, just another way for me to be pushed in the back and forgotten. But I was completely wrong. The first day the wish granters came to our house, they asked me what my name was. And I felt in that moment that I was myself again. I wasn't just Hannah's sister. But I knew that the trip still had to come and that I was probably going to get pushed again, pushed in the back. Once again, I was wrong. That entire week, no one was in anyone's shadow. We all had our own life. And that's because of people like you. Because of you, me and so many other Wish siblings have got our names back. Because of you, Hannah didn't have to worry about having CF that week. Because of you, so many kids got to live their greatest dreams. So for that, we thank you very much.
and good luck to all the racers. Thank you everybody for coming out. Um, we did set a fundraising record. Uh, we're, we're still counting money, which is always a good thing, so I don't want to put the final number out there, but uh, uh, <laughs> we love Thank you. 